Hola y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Mi nombre es Juan. I am Juan. And I am one of the Spring Spanish teachers. You probably already know this, but even though I am Venezuelan, I've been living in Buenos Aires, Argentina for quite some time. And I know the city both as a resident and as a tourist. So today I'll tell you tres de las más importantes reglas culturales en Argentina. Three of the most important cultural rules in Argentina. You'll be amazed with number two. So, if you're planning on traveling to this beautiful country or you want to impress your Argentinian friends, then this is the video you'll want to watch. Acompañen me. Argentina is a big country with a lot of history and a lot of different cultural influences from Europe and other parts of Latin America. They're very passionate about their traditions and country. So if you want to blend in smoothly when you travel to Argentina, try and keep up with these cultural rules. They also have their own dialect and accent and some words only used in Argentina which I'll be using. So, if any Argentinian friends are watching this video, te lo pido por favor, tirame la posta con mi acento argentino. Please tell me the truth about my Argentinian accent. First one, el asado. If there is anything that Argentina is known for worldwide, is their meat. So much that one of their most important traditions throughout the whole country is el asado. I guess you could say that means the barbecue, but it's actually much more than that. It's a great opportunity for friends and family to gather and celebrate any occasion. If you ever have the fortune to get invited to an asado, then get another notch on your belt because you're in for a real carnivore feast, donde el cerdo, la carne, el cordero, el vino y el fernet, where pork, beef, lamb, wine and fernet get together in a meat-devouring, yummy-tasting, friend-making, joy-engulfing, great experience. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Se me nota. Can you notice it? Even though most of the time you spend in an asado, you'll be gorging down on grilled food or chugging some wine, fernet, or cerveza, beer, you still should know some vocabulary to ask for more chimichurri or llamar una ambulancia, call an ambulance after the food coma you'll get. So let's learn some chunks you can use in an asado. Che, ¿armamos una picada para la espera? So, shall we set up a picada in the meantime? ¿Me pasas el fernet? Can you pass the fernet to me? ¿Y quién quiere pan? Who wants some bread? ¿Quedó algún choricito? Are there any sausages left? Un aplauso para el asador. An ovation to the asador. You know what? Asado is such an extensive topic that we could even have our own video about it. What do you think? Would you like to know more about el asado argentino? The Argentinian barbecue? Animate y decime en los comentarios, che. Go ahead and let us know in the comments, mate. Second one, el mate. As I said before, Argentina is a cultural melting pot of European and Latin American roots. The Argentina mate originated in Northern Argentina with the Guarani indigenous culture. Mate can be drunk all throughout the day, but it's most popular during la merienda de la tarde the afternoon snack time. Mate is a tea made with the yerba mate leaves poured into a gourd and drunk through una bombilla, which is a metal straw that prevents the leaves to be sucked in. There are some traditions never to be broken about la ceba del mate, the pouring of the mate tea. So make sure you learn them. El mate se toma en grupo. Mate is drunk in groups. This is not a strict rule, as you can drink your mate on your own. Solo el líder puede cebar el mate. Only the leader, which normally is the mate 
Court Owner can pour the tea and pass it to the crew. La bombilla no se mueve. The bombilla straw never moves. Cuando ya no quieras más, entrega el mate y decí gracias. When you're done, give the mate to the leader and say thank you. You can give the mate as many rounds as there is hot water and good conversation. But once you've had enough, give it back to the leader and say thank you. That will let them know you're done and you don't want any more tea. El mate se puede disfrutar con facturas. The mate tea can be enjoyed with facturas, which are these sweet little pastries combined with dulce de leche, milk caramel, or crema pastelera, sweet pastry cream. Cae como piña, fits like a glove, literally falls like a pineapple. Nota importante para mis amigos alemanes. Important note for my German friends. Club Mate Soda? Not a thing. Just listen to what my Argentinian friends think about it. Escuchamos una cosa. ¿Cómo se les va a ocurrir poner el mate en una botella? ¿A quién se le ocurre meter el mate en una botella? En serio, en serio lo estoy preguntando. ¿Cómo se te va a ocurrir que se te mete el mate en una botella? ¿Entendés? El mate se 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 ceba, se comparte, se gira. Es un momento, un momento de encuentro con el otro, con tu vecino, con. So what do you say? Thinking about giving mate a chance the next time you stumble into an Argentino? Let me know if you tried it before in the comments. Third one, el fútbol, soccer. Oh boy, where shall I start here? Screams, curse words, joy chants, anthems, euphoria, cheering, heart attacks, street celebration, historical rivalries, you name it. El fútbol argentino lo tiene todo. Argentine soccer has it all. It's no surprise two of the best soccer players in the history of football come from Argentina, Messi and Maradona. Football is a very important part of Argentine culture and everyone has a favorite team. Let's review some chunks to talk about soccer and to avoid getting una tarjeta roja, a red card in your conversations with Argentines. El super clásico se juega entre el Boca Juniors y el River Plate. The super derby match is played between Boca Juniors and River Plate. This important event is contested between Argentinas two most popular and successful teams, Buenos Aires Rivals, River Plate, and Boca Juniors. Argentina tiene dos Copas del Mundo. Argentina has two World Cups. The Argentina national team is one of the eight to have won the FIFA World Cup, having done so twice. Argentina has also won the top continental tournament, the Copa America, 14 times, so they take a lot of pride in their football. Mi equipo la rompe mal, boludo. Literally, my team breaks it bad. But the actual meaning of this chunk will be something like my team is the best of them all, mate. Argentinians are very passionate about their teams. You'll hear them scream with joy and praise their favorite players when they win, but also curse them like pirates when they screw up. No! No! Estamos en la B! Estamos en la B! No! 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 Así que, ¿qué crees, che? So what do you think, mate? Do you think you're ready to approach your Argentinos friend and invite them to an asado, drink mate, or ver un partido de fútbol juntos? watch a soccer match together? We have a whole series of Spanish beginning videos, so feel free to check out the other videos from me and the other Screen Spanish teachers on our YouTube channel. We also have a free Spanish training on our website where you'll discover the method we use in our Spring Spanish Academy to teach students to speak fluent Spanish. You also get some free samples of Spanish lessons there that come straight from our academy. If you're interested, just click in the link in the description to sign up. Nos vemos, che. Hasta luego. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share this video with your friends.